All right, this is the fun part. <laughs> oh, no, not really. It ain't that bad. <laughs> What's up, guys? I got a really cool little single shot firearm sitting on the table here. Going to do a preliminary review on the Midland Arms backpack. In my opinion, this is probably going to be the next big thing in affordable. Uh, single shot firearms. It's going to come with a lot of customization and a lot of versatility uh, for, for such a very affordable price. This is by Midland Arms. We want to thank them for sending this one out to test and evaluate for you guys. We'll have a full review out at the end of our 90 day trial, but stick around. Let's talk about this little shotgun. Let's just go over some of the quick things before we get started here. Uh, what you get with this shotgun when you purchase it is you get a four end liner, which I'll talk about here in a second. You're going to love it. Uh, we also get a removable choke tool, you get an allen key, as well as these shortened screws for the butt pad, which I'll also go over in just a second. And then of course you get this box here that it comes in. Let's just get all this out of the way real quick so we can get to the meat and potatoes of this little, really cool little single shot. Alright again guys, this is called the Midland Arms Backpack. And uh, this is a $150 MSRP shotgun here. Uh, single shot. Uh, you can probably find that cheaper. You can get these from shootmidland.com, find one of their national distributors and have it sent to wherever it is that they go. Uh, you can pretty much get these almost picked up anywhere through their national distributor. Uh, this is made by Con Arms for Midland Arms. And so if you guys are familiar with Con Arms, uh, they've been known to make shotguns for like TriStar, uh, Weatherby, Mossberg, uh, just to name a few. This is a this shotgun design is an old 50s design by Beretta. Uh, I believe the model was a the model 412. If you want to do any research on that, this is pretty much what this is kind of modeled after. These are currently available in 12 gauge, 20 gauge, and 410. And the uh, 12 gauge is available with an 18.5 inch barrel, a 24 inch barrel, and a 26 inch barrel. The 20 gauge is only available currently in a 26 inch barrel and the 410 is available in an 18.5 inch with a fixed choke. Uh, this is a very lightweight, that's about 4 pounds depending on the model that you buy, uh, little shotgun here. And these, the biggest selling point in my opinion about these shotguns is that there will be more barrels that are coming in 2000, late 2018. Uh, you're going to be able to purchase rimfire barrels. Uh, center fire barrels, or yeah, center fire caliber barrels. Uh, so some of the talk is is that there'll be barrels such as the 357 Magnum, uh, 223, and then I'm not sure exactly what all is going to be available, but some those are some of the calibers that I did here. And the nice thing about those is you, in my understanding, is that you should be able to purchase those via their website, and you yourself can mount them directly to your receiver, which is very simple, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Um, that's my understanding as of right now that could be slightly different but you might want to check with them on that. But those bar uh, extra barrels will be available late 2018. Now as far as this end goes here I'm assuming this is probably going to allow you to accept smaller diameter barrels onto your end. I'm assuming you'll probably be using your same end for each one of your barrels and that this is will allow that. Not sure I didn't ask them but uh, it came with the shotgun and I can only assume that that's what that's for. Now this is a 3 inch chamber with a Beretta style removable choke, which is a big plus. Uh, a lot of guys are buying single shot 12 gauge shotguns or single shot shotguns, cutting them down to get a nice compact package and then they're left without a choke for their barrel. Well in this case right here you get an 18 inch barrel with a removable choke so you can you know, put whatever choke you want to have in there and still have a very nice compact package. The receiver is a forged blued receiver and this is a hammerless design. Uh, this comes with a, uh, basically how this is cocked is when you close the action it cocks the hammer for, or it cocks the internal firing mechanism. So you can see here whenever I close the shotgun up, if you pay close attention to the takedown or the brake lever, you can see that closing up there and it's actually cocking the shotgun whenever you close it up. And so another cool thing about that is is that once you pull the trigger, it can be actually recocked again via the takedown. And all you do is just squeeze it and keep the action closed, and you can have second strike capability, which is actually pretty cool. It comes with a trigger block safety, which you can see right here, a little crossbar. 
and it also has a cocked indicator so basically when you close this up this lets you know by feel and by visual uh, that this chamber or that the action is cocked and ready to fire it comes with length of pull inserts that you can see here and you can just remove two screws off of this very nice rubber butt pad here uh, and you can adjust your length of pull anywhere from 12.5 inches to the 14.5 inches that you see here one of the kind of cool things I think about this shotgun, it comes with these removable grip panels. Now these are going to be customizable uh, around middle of 2018. They'll have different color inserts that you can purchase and put onto your shotgun. Uh, so I think that's kind of a, just kind of a cool little touch, you know, if you want to customize this. I can see like a, a red and black color scheme going with this shotgun looking pretty cool. I'm not sure what colors they're going to be available or, or what styles or anything, but uh, that's just something that, uh, that they'll be re introducing in around the middle of 2018. It also comes with blued steel uh, sling studs here for mounting traditional style hunting slings. Now the stock is of course hollow but the nice thing about this stock is, is it has internal storage for uh, they'll be producing a you know survival kit I guess is what they want to call it on their website that you can purchase to insert into your shotgun here. Uh, which is actually again pretty cool. You're gonna so far if you can't tell you're getting a lot of features on this little shotgun for not that much money at all and you're gonna get a lot of versatility when those barrels come out at about the end of 2018 to to be able to kind of mix things up and and shoot different calibers you can see on the barrel here this is a extractor not an ejector so you won't have the you know you won't have the shells flying out but it is kind of nice that you know and for like a survival shotgun uh, guys are starting to prefer the extractor over the ejector uh, a few things can go wrong with the ejector i don't know if it, you know i've been a single shot fanatic for a while and i've had ejectors go out and you're pretty much stuck with a shell in the barrel every time you gotta rod it out of there but uh, extractors aren't bad at all i actually prefer an extractor over an ejector uh, also later on they're going to be producing a backpack to go with said backpack shotgun uh, so that's something to look out for again not sure when that's coming but i've seen that on their website um, all right, that's all I got for you for right now. Again, this was just the preliminary review of this Midland backpack shotgun. I want to thank Midland for sending this one out for test and evaluation. We will have a full review at the end of our 90-day trial with this shotgun. I have a link in the description box below as to where to find this one. And uh, we also encourage you to check out our sponsor down there, GunAdapters.com, providing you with quality adapters for your shotguns. Uh, we also have a couple of other sponsors down there for you to check out and discounts below. Uh, guys, we appreciate you watching as always, and we'll catch you on the next video. Tell you what, it's my new truck gun right here, or Jeep gun. I don't have a truck. It's just a general reference truck gun. Fun little gun. Fun little gun indeed.